While not inherently evil, THQ certainly is dead. Yeah, I don't, I don't care for THQ Nordic. I, no, they're fine. I don't like, don't steal dead companies' names, infogrames. But uh, this is Evil Dead: A Fistful of the Stick of Boom. Oof, that's a. It's a rough character model. Hey, so this was the game I was thinking about when we were playing uh, Regeneration. Um, and a lot of people like uh, let me know. It's like, yeah, yeah, this, is, this game is primarily, I think, all the time in a city. So yeah, which is cool because that means Regeneration, I had never played it before. But I thought it was the one I had played, which is just is neat. So I discovered a brand new game that way because I, I thought I mixed up the two. Anyway, um, let's uh, rev up the old chainsaws and see how a fistful of boomstick does. So you're probably asking yourself how a handsome devil like me ended up in a place like this with you. It's always so self-complimentary. I'll tell you the whole story, but I warn you, it ain't pretty. It may seem hard to believe. That's a very realistic FMV of Bruce, though. So I guess I'd have to start with the book. Legend has it that it was written by the Dark Ones. Necronomicon Ex Mortis, roughly translated, the Book of the Dead. Yep. About twenty. What's he looking years, at? Professor Nobi unearthed the book at Castle Kandar and accidentally unleashed the Deadites in the woods outside Dearborn. That's when I got involved. To make a long story short, Dearborn, Michigan. I think Evil Dead takes place in Michigan, which makes sense. Bad enough about that. Let's talk some more about me. <laughs> For example, how did I end up here? Well, I guess you could say it all started with a woman. A woman in that godforsaken book. Wait, where are we going? What's happening? Welcome, true believers. Jeez. That's an SFM model if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Your guide into the realms of shadow and the arcane. Joining me tonight is parapsychologist. That guy too. Author, <laughs> Professor Alex Eldridge. Author Professor Eldridge. I, I get it. Welcome, Professor. Thank you, Tricia. It's truly an honor to be here. Yeah, that guy's got a creepy SFM look to him. <laughs> oh, the honor is all mine. Your brilliant modern translation of this ancient text. All right, is this a different scene? Oh, please. That hack wouldn't know the real Necronomicon from a roll of extra fluffy two-ply. Here, this one. Jesus Christ, that's video game bartender. If I've ever seen one. Woman dies in bus accident? Oh, yeah. Thanks for bringing that up, Chief. You're a real pal for throwing some margarita salt on the wound there. Perhaps you'd like to poke me in the eye with an umbrella straw you while you're at it. You know, I, I, this, it's very early on, but this, uh, this cutscene is not terribly exciting. Like, it's not very dynamic, you know? Like, it's not even shot very interesting. It's just kind of very flat, which is weird. It's, it's the, the opposite of what I think when I think of Evil Dead. Do you hear that? The guy <laughs> called me a lunatic. Can you believe that? You want to see a lunatic, buddy? Why don't you come on down here and I'll show you a whole bottle full of lunatics. Who are you talking to? Is the bartender gone? We may never know what really happened in that cabin in the woods. Yeah, that's okay. Maybe not. Okay, Ume Maro 3D is what I'm thinking of for the for this lady. Face to face with the mother of all ugly. So I say, come get some, and blam, no more, Mister Nasty Face. Thanks to my investigative. This is weird. I've managed to uncover this amazing piece of evidence here in my head. Oh no! Known tape of Professor Nobi recorded the very night of his disappearance. But then it went bad. My hand. You my need to pay attention, Ash. In a mysteries of the occult exclusive, we're going to play the tape live. Like they're clearly going to play it. It's audio. There's not much else you can do with it. Oh, oh this will be delightful, I'm Wait. sure. What the hell are you doing? Don't play it. Don't play that. Taste drop. It's KLA2 in the, at, at, I was about to say in the morning, at night. And we're broadcasting Lovecraftian waves all over the fucking place. Ooh, yeah, no, that, those are some cinematic uh, clouds there. Wait, it's summoning stuff from the sky? I guess. 
Yeah, there you go. There's Raimi Cam. Okay, it doesn't go for... Well, I guess Ash dodged out of the way so that an innocent person... No, not innocent, but you know. Look at that Jedi. What a dead. Can you still serve me, like, food or beverages? Make it a double. It's not a bad line. So yeah, that wasn't the most... You know, interesting setup, I guess, but it was serviceable. And the regeneration was several years after this and by a different developer, so I shouldn't really compare. Ooh, the kitten club, though. You can pretty much bet that happy hour the sleeping wassail. You know, if you were to make like a brand new Evil Dead movie nowadays, it'd be like one of those 2000 era ones where they come through the internet. Wait, what? I have a to do list. Get inside the TV station. Find more weapons. Uh, and I guess for Bruce Campbell himself, he'd be like, please stay relevant. Just keep having Evil Dead projects every couple of years. Either video games where I can voice over or a TV show. Um, so I just noticed my shirt is all shredded to shit. Uh, but it wasn't in the prior cutscene in here. Has the guy's body in there? That'd be a nice detail. I'd be surprised. All right. My controls are not... But the camera control is kind of not what I want. It's not great, but I'll make do. Yeah, I don't see him. Man, my shirt's all shredded, but it wasn't in the cutscene. Continuity error. I play the video game good. See my little model nipple, which is nice. I don't know about this model, though. His eyes are way too close together. I'm just saying. Like, it's fine. When I'm running around, it looks fine. So, I have... Ooh, an inventory. That's kind of neat. So... I, I did say I played this before, like, I don't know, a good five years ago or more. And, and what I usually do is, I, you know, I get a bunch of games from a convention and I just pop open whatever system I have, throw a million games in there and play them each for like 15 minutes. And then I just see whether, like, oh, is this something I can make a video out of? It's, it's usually very fun to do because um, there's lots of games I'll have, but I'll never get around to like, just what is this? Oh, I guess it's a pin. It's my Smart badge. Shop smart. Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't remember a whole lot. I just, all I remembered was that you're in a city and that was about it. All right, find more weapons and destroy the TV station. Gotcha. Hey, I think I just <gasps> ugly. You can shoot over your shoulder like a cool black thorn man. That's sick. Oh, does that become a thing? Hello? Hey, Bub, is there another way in here? Oh, yeah. Well, the balls has the key, but he didn't show the balls, but she's too busy realizing that they're that the war between East and West is meaningless. I sure hope nothing bad's happened to him. Uh, sorry, pal. Sounds to me like your co-workers are playing footsie with the forces of hell right about now. But I'll keep an eye out for your boss, though. Put in a good word for you. Yeah, find the boss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Stop her from using the Davy Crockett. All right. So, yeah, okay, this is, I can already see that this is a save game token. There's ink ribbons. I, okay, whatever, I'm getting distracted. This is already kind of different, like, uh, significantly from, from regeneration. Just, I can talk to people and it's more of an open thing. What, is a shovel? Sure. A shovel is weird. Where is the chain? I guess I get the chainsaw later, but that's that's a little strange. It's just a, a shovel of all things. Okay, Death Cop and Return of the Zombies. Uh, I mean, Death Cop Three was alright. It's not as good as Two. Ooh, it's the Kitten Club. We're theming Kitten Club. Oh, hello. Mind if I slip in here, officer? Sorry, nothing goes in, nothing comes out. Order. Yeah, that's that's a good motto for a strip club. <laughs> Oh shit, okay. A lot, a lot of stripper zombies. Stripper zombies, there's an appeal there. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what the appeal is, but there's one. Okay, there's some green, like, farty juice coming out of these Zambimbis, but not really seeing what it's doing. Alright, is, is this the boss? Who is this? He's a mustache man, so fucking narc. Funny man. Those things in the yard have taken I'm not really. Ooh, live nude review. 25 XXX movies. That's one X more than usual. just turn right around. I relax. I'm on the job, see? Working vice. All right. I don't think his charisma stat is high enough to pull this off. 
him. Oh, sure, yeah, I'm a cop. I got a badge, right? Only I don't carry it when I'm working on a case, you know. Uh... No badge, no go. Clear? Crystal. I'll be right back. All right, kill a cop and steal his badge. Gotcha. Um, so I saw someone had a really funny comment in the last Evil Dead video, which is like, man, they should really have had Tobey Maguire be the narrator for these games. And I'm like, Mwah! Amazing. All right. Uh, the 25 cent boost, 360 selections, and quad system. Whatever the fuck that means. The, the Dearborn, lo, the, the red light district is booming. There's free sex porno shops and live totally naked girls. They're on stage, girls only, one entry fee, and they're not dead at all. And this is straight up sex. There's tapes and there's books and film shows and films and videos and mags. So much, so much to look at. And the Pussycat Palace! Okay, one of these is a cop. Well, they're all cops, but that's his big cop badge right there. <laughs> all right, cool. I can, ah, I can, I can fool that, uh, that, that cop lord. I have a feeling Ash would do really well if he was in the 40K universe. And the 41st Millennium, you know, chain swords and shit. I think he would do well. Bolters? His shotgun's very close to bolters. Wow, that's, um... A lot of movies of the same two girls over and over. That's kind of weird. I have a badge, sir. Big badge. Hey there, Captain. I got my ID. You mind letting me through now? Get yourself a decent weapon, or else kiss your ass. Um, goodbye. got the old double barrel literally in front of you. I guess he doesn't mind that. That's you mind cool. Through now? Get yourself a decent weapon, or else... <laughs> I guess it isn't a decent weapon if it can't even kill, like, a single police officer. So that's weird. It's like, usually most games, you know, you click on a friendly NPC and it just won't let you fire. Like, you know, your crosshair turns green. But in this, it's a little different. It's kind of strange. It's fine. So yeah, I, I kind of like this. This is just, you know, getting items and kind of figuring out where to go and what to do. It's a little bit different because that shows weirdly like a clear evolution between the playstation um uh evil dead game which was unabashedly a bad resident evil and then there's this which is uh, a huge step up and then regeneration is like pretty much almost a devil may cry action game maybe that's a little much saying that but I found a health pack all right cool um but it shows a clear like uh, upgrading to each each game that's kind of neat you don't see that often try to remember who even made that first playstation uh evil dead game uh, i guess this guy uh, came in lumber mill because everything was a uh, half off oh all right there's old painless but what you bet that all these lumbermen are gonna wake up here we go come on you bastards no Really? That's shocking. None of y'all- ah! <laughs> Cool. Alright, that works. You know what? The camera angle's a little bit different, but it's not- It's really pulled out. You know what this kind of reminds me of now? Just the way this combat works and the targeting and stuff? Um, like the Hunter Reckoning games and uh, Hunter Reckoning Wayward and all of that. Those those White Wolf games that uh, High Voltage made. Wow, a lot of people buried in the lumber mill. Nice, nice. Okay, some more shotgun shells. So I have the chainsaw. Uh, skin your ass raw. And I just might break something tonight. So that was a shortcut, I guess. But there's also another... Uh, place I found that had like some lumber in which to saw through but I have a decent weapon now the guy told me this will be decent not the shoddy we're given a book of spells <laughs> it's called spells <laughs> all right there's magic hold the right trigger to whoa <laughs> that's all right that's all right Okay, so um, the can club, uh, that's thats what we have to do. It's the main goal of the entire game, it seems, to get into the can club. All right, I got a book of spells, Captain Nark. You gotta let me in now. 
Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. You mind let me through now? Whatever. Head on through. Whatever. Ass, I don't even care. Okay. <laughs> this police force is weird. Police cops in color. Well, you even care about me. Ooh, boy, that one was right. There you go. That's what the green juice is. It's it's deadite magic, I guess. What about you, sir? Okay, if I slip inside here. Step aside, buddy. Orders are no one goes inside. What is so hidden? Captain, round by the barricade. What is the MacGuffin in the Ken Club that all the cops are protecting? A lot of zombies bursting through walls! Oh, wow. Awesome. That, like, regeneration didn't even have a cool move like that. Health bag? Sure. Huh, a lot of zombies buried underneath the kitty. <laughs> the kid. <laughs> Playground. Alright, Dearborn. That weird flex, but sure. All these fat bikers with the butt cheeks, man. What you staying out here, double cheeked, on Thursday afternoon? There's a whoa. Oh, I got it. I got it. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I thought I had a health pack. Health extra? No. Health pack. Oh, okay, good. Better refill two health vessels. All right, I I gotta get out of this. I, like, literally have to run away. Okay, I'm not pressing anything, but I can't hear any dialogue, and it's zooming through it. The nudie bar, who would have thought an invasion? Here's a key to the gates. What? That went by so fast. I wasn't even holding it. I am playing this again, backwards compatible, on a 360. And much like regeneration, this, this, at least, this automatically went to 16 by 9. So, cops, you don't want to kill this clear deadite? No? Alright, cool. I'll do it. No problem. Do I look like crazy? Uh, those this is caught. Tell you what, you want in so bad, they gotta get out them out of there. I'm gone. Kill the deadites in the kitchen. Can't <laughs> kitchen club. Yeah, that's weird. That some of the dialogue is just zooming through. Like again, I'm not pressing nothing. I, I maybe a button is sticking on my controller, but I don't think so. Uh, short, medium, projectile. Wow, there's actual like I didn't actually bother to look at this. Damage is very high. Cool. So am I. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, so will this work or? Yes. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> I saved the day. That's so clear. Uh, okay. Uh, my to-do list has been updated. I need to take that off. Take that away. This is it. This is the smallest strip club ever. There's one pole. There's no place to sit except the bar. Oh, that's disappointing, Dearborn. That's super disappointing. I picked up a spell, I think. Hold on. Uh, is it an extra strength and lightning? Man, the King Club is super disappointing. Fucking two out of ten on TripAdvisor there. Don't bother. But yeah, I'm so shocked that both this and regeneration are as good as they are. Like. You know, there's there's a couple of really not like you'd expect to be fucking horrid uh, TV or you know licensed games like not the really really well known ones like superhero games or like I don't know Scarface. I mean stuff like Dark Angel or The Sopranos game and I think the uh, God Aeon Flux game based on the movie is not that bad. I remember Slow Beef did a video on it and uh, or a couple rather and, and said it was actually surprisingly good. I think even the Alias game is alright, which is not something I never thought I'd say. What can I say, man? You saved my life. Money talks. I got this ring. Symbol of the biker. I'm going all misty-eyed. What? You were given a cheap tin ring. Use. You can't use it. Or Alright. You give me a buff? What does it do? Very weird. What? I'd have to be superhuman to get this gate open. Okay, wait. The book. Uh, BB, no, XXA? No, wait, God, it's BA. We have a block? How did I go this entire time without having a block? Oh, I think it's because I, I only get it once I have the chainsaw. Sorry, it was BA to do it. Oh, shit, do I have enough? Really? That's so weird, but I still have to use the key? Whatever. 
That's odd. It's gigantic empty hallways. Your to-do list has been upgraded. All right. All right, I just, I nailed everything, you guys. It did so, so good. Now, I haven't seen any sort of upgrade screen or anything like that, so I wonder if this game even has stuff like that. God, the mystery is of the occult set is terrible. Why is there a soul NATO at the university? Weird. All right. To do! Stop the soul NATO. Gotcha. I was gonna say, usually when I do a game like this that's like a 3 so what the hell is this? Maximum mana. I just have mana. All right. Um, uh, I check on Wikipedia, which usually says if there's any underlying issues, like it crashes or there's progression blockers. Usually it's that detailed. People have played games enough to be like, yeah. I didn't see anything about cutscenes just like not working correctly. Like. Regeneration said it had some problems that it could crash. All right, there's a Solnado. What happens if I if I you want to dance? Let's dance. What? Whoa, were you born that ugly? No. I mean, yes. I mean, I don't know. Am I taking damage from this? I I probably need a spell to dispel that or something. You get it? But yeah, I'm assuming that's you found a health pack. All right, perfect, perfect for a chainsaw. All right, where is this? It's probably just a shortcut. Is this a Bloodborne game? What the shit? Think about it. I have a ranged weapon that's like a shotgun. Then I have a bladed weapon. I'm outside at night. I can do spells. The, 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 uh, there's all these locked doors and, and innocent people getting killed. This is a Bloodborne game. All right, all right. It's time for some grease lightning or chain lightning. Let me let me make sure I know what I'm hey, you guys doing. Take the semester. That's fine by me. I thought I killed all these guys, but whatever. Uh, so wait, no, no, no extra strength. I mean that'll help too, but X X A. I swear I did that before. Batu and Batur. Nice! Ooh, that works super good! Awesome, awesome. Alright, well, crowds! That's- Hey! Everything's coming up, Millhouse. I mean, Ashley Williams. Alright, yeah, you fuckers, I'm on the other side. You didn't think I could do it, but I'm here. Hey, officer. Mind if a humble scholar slips into the university for a little- Oh, no, I already found my way through, so he's not gonna let me- No, sir, no one can get past this blockade of cops. See, look, it's- all the- all the doors are locked, like, Bloodborne. I'm sure I'm gonna, like, listen to it, and they're like, Get out of here, outsider! Jesus Christ, why is there a grave right but Oh, I guess that's a church, technically. Fine, that makes sense. Make sure not to bloodvertise on it. I mean- Right, Turok. I still need to find this guy's personal effects or whatever. It seems like that's the main progression blocker right now, so... I, I didn't see a police station. Maybe there was, and I completely missed it. Oh, police station? Police station. Big police station. No? The yard behind the police station was crawling with deadites. Something told me walking in with guns blazing wasn't the smart option. It kind of went against the grain, but... I figure I better play this some other way. Oh, I think we can handle them. Yeah! Oh, shit! <laughs> maybe not. Oh, maybe the, the thing! The thing! No! Okay! <laughs> to be fair, the game said you're not strong enough, Matthew. And I'm like, yeah, I am. I wasn't. Uh, that is oh, Evil Dead, a uh, fistful of boomstick. Oh shit. Um, this, wow, I can't believe th these games are as good as they are. Like, yeah, they're not the most polished, bugless things I've played. But, you know, again, for a licensed movie, th all the developers, maybe except the, um, the, the first game, seem to really, really enjoy the franchise, and there was enough stuff in this and Regeneration that, that, Clearly, there were fans of, of the entire series, so that's really cool. You know, you don't see it very often, and you'd love to see it. So, I'd highly recommend both this and Regeneration. I, I'm shocked at their quality, so. Any other licensed games like this that are, like, kind of of a surprising quality? Let me know in the comments below, and until then, keep hailing to the king.